G'day everybody and welcome back to React to Gaming with Chris and James and welcome to Manor Lords. A little bit different for us, Mr. James. Yes, yes. Um, we're doing our first review. Um, this is on Manor Lords. Uh, Manor Lords is a medieval strategy game featuring in-depth city building, large-scale tactical battles, and complex economics and social stimulations. Rule your lands... As a medieval lord, the seasons pass, the weather changes, the cities rise and fall. So basically, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be like Age of Empires on Empires. steroids, on steroids, yeah. eh? <laughs> yeah. This is crazy too. So it's still early access. It is $45 approximately Australian at the moment. Different, obviously, all over the world. Early access came out in uh, April 26th of this year, so it's still very, very early. I believe the demo's been out for a long time. Hey, James. Oh, yes. When they brought it out with um, Steam Fest, uh, they did this on the Metal Lords, and this was, I think it was the second week, and um, you were allowed to play it from the second week all the way to the end of Metal... Uh, for seven days, sorry. So uh, I think this is the only game that I actually stopped Sons of the Forest to play this thing. Um, it was... It was very awesome, even as a demo. Sweet. So obviously, from what I can see from the Steam reviews, it actually has really, really positive reviews, over 33,000 of them, uh, which is virtually unheard of for a game, to be honest. Um, normally, there's a lot of mixed reviews. Like, obviously, there's a lot of mixed um, positive reviews on games, but this one has an overwhelming amount of positive reviews. So I think we should just get stuck into it. Let's see how this game works. This is like our first impression. We've never really played it. I'm going in blind and hoping for the best. Um, the only downfall to this game is it is a single player game. Now, being early access, I'm hoping they're going to sort of release a multiplayer function towards the end of it. Only would, time will tell. That, but that yeah, would be nice. It would, be, would nice. be nice. If this game was multiplayer right now i guarantee you james and i would be playing it a lot more but it uh, it hasn't it's only been out for what two three weeks yeah, we, yeah we've been looking at it for a while and we're trying to sort of figure out what we should do is this something we want to be looking into as a future game or not only time will tell let's go in and start a new game and get stuck into it Alrighty, so the first off new game you've got some arms you can do all this customization here blah 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 i'm not going to worry about any of this sort of stuff change a character i'm just going to change this fella let's continue game setup what do we got here we've got scenario templates uh so rise to prosperity uh restore the peace and restore the peace another one sorry on the edge my bad i'm gonna just try rise to prosperity see how we go with that one first impressions how are the graphics that's what the main thing i look for when i look for games Obviously, if you're not playing a high graphic intensive game, then whatever. But this one is supposed to be quite beautiful. Yeah, picturesque. All right. New message. What do we got? Okay. Where about the trauma? Uh, I'm not going to worry about this sort of stuff. I should actually look at it. Samples. I got a bit of an idea from the trailer what you need to do. Okay. So let's have a look at functions. So just using keyboard, your WSD key, WASD key to move around. Uh, you could also use your mouse to move left and right and up and down. Use your F and G key to rotate your camera. And to scroll in and out, just use your wheel on your actual mouse itself. So you can scroll right out and check out the game map. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's scroll back into our little area. Wherever the hell that was. It's bound to be somewhere, right? James, do you see it anywhere? Oh, I'm blind. Ah, oh, right there in the middle. Okay. So I'm guessing the in the red is your territory, I'm guessing, right? Correct, yes. So this is all our land. That's a yep. fair chunk of land. So yeah. I'm wondering what happens if we need to expand or if we need to move our people, our, our troops. Troops, probably not the right term for this era of game. But we got our little town here. Alrighty. You can zoom right in, get right into your town, move around using your FNG key. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. It's very nice. It really, is. really well done. 
the graphics are actually quite good. Now, yeah. I do have my game settings on all ultra. So that's that might make a pretty big difference when you're actually playing the game, depending on your graphics card and stuff like that. So we've got a whole bunch of people sitting around, you know, doing nothing. So first things first, we probably need to have a look at the construction. So you've got an option to do a few things here. Now, James, you said as time goes on, the buildings will progressively get better and better and they will upgrade yeah. automatically. Is that correct? Yes. Um, they, they'll, um, you can upgrade them in that um, tree, in that uh, game tree that you run yep. early, earlier. Um, and uh, you're able to... Uh, you're able to set up stores in your back in your backyard virtually, and you can sell from your oh, sell from really? your backyard. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you notice how um, the circle there is? That's the snap points there. So everything yeah. must be on road. So um, you, what you'll be looking to do start off with is going with a uh, try and get a couple of houses up. Yep. I just sort um, of jumped the gun a little bit. Just click the first thing here. That's a logging camp. I yeah, probably should okay. have. I should cancel that. You know. I'll leave it up because what you'll need to do is um, you've got to get uh, what they call them the forest guys. Is that does that collect wood? Or is um, it cutting logging camp? So I'm guessing that's where you store the logs. So yeah. the one I believe. So that's a woodcutter's lodge. Now, I believe this is the one where it actually cuts down the timber. And we're going to probably put in the forest somewhere. We're going to have to get some roads in a second, too. I don't know why that um, area is red. orange. Yeah. But we're going to go there and um, place our building there. Yep. There must be like a designated area where we're supposed to be sort of um, putting stuff, maybe. Yeah. So we'll get yeah. a couple of these constructions up. While we do that, I'm going to get a few roads connecting these together as well. Yep. So we're going to use the snap points, as James said before. We're going to connect all these places up. And we're going to probably just move around a little bit. We're going to connect it all up to here. And we'll start that for now. So those roads are all done. Let's connect all this stuff up as well. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if they're on the roads, they're going to get their production faster. Oh, okay. It's good to know. We'll do a little roundabout here. Yep. Um, maybe uh, look towards maybe a well. Uh, We've got uh, two. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Yep. yep. Cool. Thanks, for the, thanks for that. <laughs> a well, so we need water, correct? Yeah, so um, not sure. Where uh, a well would be. No, it'll be. You've got to go by a. Um, there's a, a map feature that allows you to check out your underground water streams and your your uh, best places for putting um, your crops and stuff like that. Um, is there... What's on the settings? Uh... Okay, so now we got to... So it'll come up with the tutorial things. Let's get out of that. We need to add families to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing each one of these is a family, correct? Yep. Or per person. Per person. It's per, per, per. per person. Let's just add two people to that one there. Yep. Uh, what is our total population? We have 10 okay. people currently. Yep. Or 10 people. This is the... Okay, so approval. I haven't looked at any of this yet. Uh, public order housing so we need living spaces so uh, uh okay understand yep all right let's get some houses up real quick while they do the building we're gonna get some we get some little huts around here um normally when i used to play age of empires i used to like to put the houses on the outer skirts a little bit away yeah. from the so it allows you to build um yeah we're probably just gonna put a few houses just for now let me build. Oh, I just probably don't have enough materials. Sorry. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yep, that's so all right. We're going to get a road out to that. And we're going to get a road out to that right now. So we're going to go from this snap point all the way out to here. And to here. Let's build that. Some people can go out after they finish building this one. They're going to go out to there. Oh, man, I'm loving this game so far. Yeah. I used to, Age of Empires was my, my shit back in the day, basically. Yeah. 
yeah. It was my yeah. thing, and this is like next level. Yeah, yeah, just um, and we haven't even, you know, you know, we've got all the building side of things, resources gathering, and and the whole simulation of that. But also, there is an element of um, war in it. Yes, and that's when that's uh, I haven't been to that section yet because uh, I don't. It wasn't um, allowed in. It wasn't in the, the demo. It was more of a build thing. Um, right. To my memory, um, yeah. yeah. But uh, it looks pretty inviting when you look at some of the uh, the stuff around with the game. Alrighty, that's all up and running. Uh, where's our road lead? So that route leads back there, then up to there to the houses. Should we have a more direct route? Oh, uh, you know what? We're just going to leave it for now. These guys are going to start producing us some timber. Yep. So we've got a family there at the moment. I think I've added two people. Yep. Yep. Cool. So and See probably the up. next thing. I just Sorry, James. What was yep. that? Uh, check out the, the ox. He's just working hell. Yeah, what's he doing? He's just moving logs around to the... Ah, oh, to oh, the areas. Out to the, yep. He's out yep. The, yep, sweet. Heading out to so the houses. So you can actually... I think you can have um, more than one ox. Oh, okay. So head to the middle there. And oh. um, where the ox station is, yep. there's a little... Yep, yep. Can you add another... Oh, you've got, you got no workers on that. So if you've got a spare worker... Yep, I just... Um, order another ox. There you, you go. Yeah, just did that. Let's get a worker there as well, at least one for now. Yep. So supplies, okay, so this is obviously an area we're going to be storing some logs and stuff like that as well. Yep, like a central hub sort of scenario. Yeah. What else can we build real quick? So we haven't built a saw pit. What the hell does a saw pit do? I guess it... Well, that'd be, that'd be um for cutting the, the logs and stuff, wouldn't it? I guess so. Let's just chuck it there. Yep. What else have we got there? Hang on a second. Just having a quick look. We got food. We, we need a hunting spot. Yes. Uh, we're going to get a hunting camp. We'll probably take that out to where we could actually hunt. Yeah. Have a look over the top of it to see if you can see hunting areas. Yeah, there we go. Right here. We're going to check a hunting camp right in the thick of it. Yep. And Let's, try and get a... We'll do two real quick and we'll get a road yep. out there, right? Eh? Yep. Beautiful. All right. Um... I might try to build out from here through the woods. Auto save, man. I'm loving that. Yeah. Auto save. Nothing better. Okay. We've got something going out to there. Oh, where am I going? Wrong place. We're going to reach it over to here quickly. And we'll build that out. Get that road going there, but they're going to build these houses first. Yep. Yeah. The the um biggest mistake is over working your um like giving them too much at one point because it winds up taking too slow. They don't know which ones to go to first. I'm not too sure about the priorities of the building mechanics. No, I mean, uh, but that's something we're going to learn in time. Yeah. I'm hoping this is going to be something that people are going to actually want us to continue to play. Yeah. A bit tricky um, being a single player games considering James and I sort of work as a team and we do this, but we'll figure something out. Whether mm. it's just James sending me the save files or um yeah. sending out can, some videos. Yep. I don't know, we'll figure something out. But yeah, this is something that I would definitely be interested in playing as long as other people be interested in interested in us yeah. um playing. But we yeah. thought this is the first time we've looked at it. Well, I've looked at it, sorry. James has already played the demo. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I loved it. I loved it. And um, what have we got here? Old animals. What? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Old animals. You put another. I've already got two in there. Okay, all right, cool. They're just going to be what? built. They're just here. Yeah. yeah, okay. I should have built the road a little bit more direct, but I might even put another one here down the track. Yeah, it gives you the option. Yep. Okay, so we got food. We got food, we got wood. What else do we need? Uh, Hunting camp. Oh, yep. Construction okay. car. What's that? This is for forging. Uh, not forging, uh, foraging. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Um, is there a. 
Is that all um, food over there, like trees uh, with... These would be like them. nuts, berries, probably things like that, I'm guessing. So I'm just going to yeah. put one there real quick and let's get a little road out to it. I'm probably going a little bit like crazy with... Um, yeah. Building probably too much at once because we've still got a whole bunch we need to get started. Yeah. All right, so we'll be back in a second once we get all this built. All righty, we've got all our camps all set up, everything like that. What we're doing now is building some houses. So we figured along here is different options. So here we've got the houses and the residential part. So I want to build some more. Actually, let's wait for these ones to finish, eh? Yeah. But yeah. it's pretty simple. We're going to pull it across to wherever, pull it out. And we got ourselves some that's, houses. That's five houses. You can make it as big as you want, I guess. Yeah. But we have heaps of food now, so let's take people off the uh, food station. With the houses, I'm hoping we're going to get more people to actually yep. help us. Oops, what am I doing? Out of that. Okay, still got one person on the hunting one. That's good. We got no one getting us timber. So let's get back down in there and see if we can find someone... Hitching post. Do we, do we really need someone at the hitching post right this second? No. We're not, eh? Let's well, the hitching post is the one who brings out the... Um, yeah. He's like the Australia post. Right. Okay, well, once we get these houses built up, they're starting to get there now. Yeah, yeah. They start. We're going to get more people. We can start getting, you know, more things going. But this is, this is really, really, really good, this game. Only down four is it's not multiplayer. Yeah, it's very immersive. I'll give you that much. This is the sort of game that I could play for hours and hours and hours on an end and yeah. not worry about getting bored because there's so much to do. Yeah. And once we start getting the armies and everything like that in, yep. then we're going to... Let's get our, let's get this all this built up before we even think about armies. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not sure how it goes with the whole getting invaded and all that sort of stuff. If so, That's something we should be thinking about straight off the bat. Bit of a learning curve, I guess, because yeah. I'm still very unfamiliar with the game, obviously. But this is about our first impressions. Yeah. And our first impressions so far are very, very positive. So we're going to need some more timber. Food, we're good now. We got down to one day before before we ran out of yeah. food. So we got 13 days worth of... Uh, oh, 13 months, apparently. Sorry. Wow. 13 months worth of food now. Um, See that how it said no consumption? Yeah. Wonder what that, wonder what that was about. The live... This part here? Uh... Yeah, oh, fuel. Oh, fuel. fuel. Okay. Yeah. All right. yep. Fuel, fuel, no consumption. We haven't done any of that sort of stuff yet. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's further down the. That's further down the track. I just want to get these houses built first. Hopefully, get some more people, and then we can start adding more to everything. After mm. that, we're going to do the. Oh, so, was it? Stone deposit. Rich deposit. So, we're going to have a look at something we could build there in a minute, too. Is there. Um, Tavern. Is there church for this game? Is there what, sorry? Tasks. Uh, I'm sure there will be. There has to be, right? You know how Age of Empires used to have tasks? Yeah, vaguely. Yeah. Vaguely. Okay. Fields, farmhouse. Okay, there's, there's a, a lot involved yeah, in here. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot, yeah. yeah. It's, you don't get bored in a hurry. Settlers camp. So maybe Hello. we can get more people in here as well. Well, Settlers Camp. Yeah. Why know. is it red? I don't know. Maybe it's got to be set oh, up outside your boundary. Outside the perimeter, maybe? Mm. No. Oh, not enough goods. Okay, so we need more money. So we're going to have to get a, a, a trading post up very shortly as well. Yeah. yeah. I saw that somewhere in here. Um, where was it? Storehouse, uh, packing station. Where was it? Stone camp, mining pit. We'll do that in a minute, I think. Well, there you go. Isn't that what we wanted? Well, there, yeah, there you go. that's hey. what we wanted. Anywhere on the blue. Anywhere on the blue. Let's build some wells. Oh, auto save. Loving that. Yep, do love the auto save function. We're going to get a few wells. We might. Smash a few up around, especially around the housing areas. Uh, up here. 
We'll get some up here because these people will be thirsty as. Alright, I think that should do for now when yeah. it comes to the wells. I just want these houses to get up so we get some more people going. Look at the rain. Oh yeah, I got this in super fast forward too. Oh, I hope you are. Yeah, still in super fast right. forward. Our food is starting to deplete again. So <laughs> something's happening. It's a bit of a, a bit of a balancing act, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Public you really order. You really got to um, keep everything balanced, everything especially at the well. beginning, especially when you got limited people. We really need to um, think yeah. about it. I just got it on fast forward because I want this stuff to build quickly so everyone gets a bit <laughs> of an idea on how it works. Once we get all this stuff built, and then I can start slowing down the game. Come on, finish building the houses, would you? I can you um, them. can you uh, highlight one of the, the unbuilt houses and see if you can highlight uh sort of speed things up like? Oh, there you like, go. Construction priority. Let's go high. Yeah, yep. And we can sort of make that a priority. There you go. There you go. I was building it now. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Let's go right in and see what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> hey, look, it's us on the roof. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, so up... Plus as, one as person. You, um, there you go. We yeah. got an extra person now. As um, you upgrade the houses, the yards get longer. Mm -hmm. And then um, they become... You can sell out... You can put it, set up stalls mm -hmm. in the back of them. But yeah... Lovely. Look at that. Awesome graphics. Beautiful. Yeah, how's that? The rain isn't as bothering as suns, is it? <laughs> the rain is quite quick, but I do have it on fast forward. Let's get these uh, houses up. Let's get some people in here. Let's get some work done. We need to build up. We're gonna actually going to need some more food soon. We're going to need more timber. Yeah, more houses, more food. More, more everything, eh? Yeah, just more, more, more. This is going to be very, very bad for me. You know why, James? Yeah, because, yeah. This is going to be a bit of a Sons of the Forest killer for me, I think. Yeah. Well, as I said to you, it's the only game that I've I've um, stopped playing Sons for, for any matter for any matter of time. Yeah, that's not good. Nah, Sons is still at home. Yep, yep. Sons is still but at home, but this is going to be something different, I think. People are going to love this. It's, um, once you start it, you've got to, uh, you can't take your focus off. You can't just walk away or, or, and just let it build because it's management, management, management. Yeah. All right. So we can start getting some people actually in these, um, what we need now is, oh no, we've already got someone there. We've got 15 people. That's searching for somebody. Why? Maybe spare workers? Yeah, we don't have enough. What are they doing? Are they all still building, maybe? That's priority, isn't it? Let's just finish these houses. Oh, no, it's starting to snow. Wonder what that does. Oh, no. Stocks damaged by weather. Oh. Forge hunt. Hut, hut. Which one's that one? Wait, wait. Which one? Uh, repair. Okay. One of these huts got damaged by the weather. Oh uh, my god, look at the seasons in it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to slow this down to real time now. Yeah. Because something has been damaged. you got to figure out how to... How do we fix it? I wonder if that's something they do on their own. Did you scroll right down and see what people are doing down there? It's hard to see it. Uh, not really. Oh, the... You might, uh, might be able to see which one's damaged. I don't know if it's going to be a visual thing. Or, uh... Ooh. Look at that. Yeah. 
I still need more people. I don't know what happened to those 15 extra people, honestly. They just, um, got, they're probably over in the, in the huts, in the, um, you got forest, forest huts and all that sort of thing. True. I didn't even think to look over here. We got two people there. Let's get rid of one of those for now. How much wood we got? Uh, no wood. Well, there's some here. Logging camp. Okay. People. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. That's pretty Showed cool. You which workers are there? Yeah. Okay. Now these wells still need to be finished too. Yeah. Our food's starting to run a bit short again. What if I need more roads? Well, to like, you know, places like here. See, that's only yeah. Because he's essentially going the long way around doing stuff, isn't he? Mm. See, if you got more axes, that'll allow you to move. Um, your axes aren't just for building. Oh, oxes, sorry. They're for transporting um, logs from here to there and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, hundred percent. So, um, yeah, the more oxes you got, the faster your. What's this here? Oh well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm wondering because of winter that production might slow down. Well, is it that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it, is it possible? Yeah. Well, how are they going to forage when there's winter time, right? That's why our food's going down. Yeah. Uh the hunting place. Let's yeah, get the some... hunting place. So that well's still not done. What's mm. it? Yeah. If we need more food, I'd be putting. Focusing on the, um, take the forage people away from the, the, um, their task and put them in the, um, hunting camps. So up here yeah. is our crafting materials. Oh, yeah, you got 99, um, lobs, So what's, what's this mean? Oh, unassigned. Yeah. Right. Oh, well. Okay. Working it out. Working Work. it out. Absolutely. First go, I'm going to need a little bit more time on this game to actually get... Yeah, yeah. You know, familiar with it. I, yeah. um, when I played the demo, I, uh, chopped and changed a fair bit because as, as you, um, evolved and learning stuff... You just say, oh, I should have done this. So then you start another world and delete the other one. Mm -hmm. And then you just slowly progress to what you're supposed to know and everything like that. It's all learning. I'm just fast forwarding through the seasons. I'm hoping we could get through winter quickly. Not enough stable space. Okay, so we're going to need a stable. Is but it stable space or storage space? Stable space. Not enough stable space. What? Um, so we're going to need some stables. Storage house. Packing station. I wonder... Yeah, there you hitching, go. Hitching right, post? Stable. Yeah, the, the, um, yeah, do that one. Okay. Because it'll, it'll, it'll supply... Um, uh, Table space. Let's get that built. So I'm wondering. So if, what is it? Is it two oxes per um, stable? Is it? Very good question. Uh, stable space one out of one, so only one. Yeah. Okay. So we got three oxes. We're going to need three stable stations. Yeah. But we need them built first. Yeah. So okay. can you prioritize? Uh. Yeah. Probably could. No, that's a well. 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 Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, hang on. What? Where did I put the thing? Oh, right there. Hey. Hitching post. Come on, finish building everything, you guys. 
You want it done yesterday. I want it done now. <laughs> Come I remember on. in in the demo there was a mode that you could actually get down in there and walk with them around. Ah, uh, we'll figure um, that out as time goes on. Yeah, as a th what do they call it first third person, as a third person. So this obviously goes by north uh, northern hemisphere periods because in January it's still snowing. Yep. January. Come on, March. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, much. All right, we'll be back once we get a little bit more progress done. Alrighty, we have figured out a fair bit more. Now we know how to finally go into the actual game itself where you could walk around. So above uh, your profile picture there, there's a little eye. You click on that one. Now that brings you into Holy the game. Crap, look at that. I know. Look at it. Oof. Um, can we turn on UI? Oh, the UI must be off automatically. Yeah, yeah, it stays on. Stays, stays on, off, or sorry. Stays yeah, off, yeah. Yeah, stays off, yeah. So I wonder if you could actually go into... Somebody's house? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh... There's no UI whatsoever when you're walking around, so now there's got to be a reason why. Maybe for best thumbnails and stuff like that. <laughs> I doubt <laughs> it. You said something about it, it's supposed to be so you could fight, right? Yeah. Yes. You don't want the UI while you're up there. No. So you're supposed to be able to go into battle and this is the reason or the way you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then just the X out of just hit escape and then you're back into the actual building aspect of the game. But we're starting to get there. We got ourselves a um, tavern. Uh, we got another... All the wells are all set up, everything like that. So there's wells all over the place. Uh, got another hitching post. Probably need another one because there's three, I believe. I'd, I'd maybe thinking about suggesting a um, another storage. Yeah. To keep the workers going, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to be running out of storage very soon. So we need to do all that sort of stuff. How about we do that on the next one? Yep, sounds good. Depending sounds on good. yeah, depending on how this video goes, and if people actually want us to see us play more of this game, then we're please, please, please. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. We'll be doing more videos on this game, hundred percent. So more in depth gameplay. Try to figure out a little bit more how to play it, all that sort of stuff. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below, and if you could please subscribe, that would be awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Hopefully. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.